Today's video is going to be about the Schrade Full Tang Small Kukri Knife. Hey folks, my name is Brian and you're watching Survival On Purpose. Okay, so like I said, today's video is going to be about the Schrade Small Full Tang Kukri Knife. And we're going to do some chopping and cutting and demonstrations of this knife. Before we do that, let me go ahead and give you some close up and go over the specs for this thing. Okay, so here it is. This is the Schrade Small Full Tang Kukri Machete Fixed Blade Knife. And this knife features a 9.9 .9 inch blade of black powder coated 3CR13 stainless steel. Again, it is a full tang with a wrapped handle, what they call a safety grip handle, and the handle length is 5.2 inches. Putting the overall length of this knife at 15.1 inches and the weight at three quarters of a pound. This knife comes with a ballistic nylon sheath with a removable pouch which contains a fire steel and a knife sharpener. Okay, so that was the specs on the Schrade Full Tang Small Kukri. Let's do a little uh, knife stuff with it and see how well it worked. All right, so I've got about a two and a half inch piece of limb here. Let's see. Wasn't really super thrilled with the chopping of this thing. It did it doesn't really have very much mass to it. The handle, as you can see, is just really it's kind of small. So it's hard to get a good grip on it. It wants to slide out of my hand. It has a little palm swell here, but it just really doesn't have enough mass to chop anything really big. It's more for a smaller task, I think. So uh, let's go on and see how well it does batoning. Okay, so I've got a piece of wood I just cut. It's kind of curved, got a couple knots in it, but we're going to see how well it'll baton. And really, this is probably about the, the largest size wood you'd ever really have to baton because mostly that's going to be a process. A, the reason you're going to baton something is, is really to get to some dry firewood inside or to, to make some smaller wood for kindling. So, But this is a big enough blade, it should, should be okay for batoning. A little knot in there. More. Okay, so baton okay and you really don't need mass of the knife for that you need thickness of the, and stiffness of the blade did a great job of that and it's like i said it's got a long enough blade to baton pretty big stuff so so let's see how well this thing does it actual knife stuff okay so i got a piece of the wood we just split out here and let's see if we need to make a uh, feather stick or anything uh you know Let's try. Some of that may be just my technique. Okay, a little better. Okay, I did want to show you a little more detail on the sheath. Here it is. It is a ballistic nylon sheath and it features a couple of things I do like and one thing I really don't like. First of all, it's got a removable little pouch on it that comes completely off, like so, velcro like so. And inside the pouch is a diamond sharpener, like this, and a fire steel, which is it's, it's a great little feature to have. It's always good to have a fire steel. Fire's important. In addition, it has a snap here and here. This is adjustable, so that's good. I like that. Here's what I don't like. 
it's a shoulder carry sheath and I just can't seem to find a I guess maybe you carry it handled down is the only way I can think of it really is it all comfortable so it's gonna be kind of like this and it feels kind of weird to me like that maybe it's just me but I, I think especially on something this small I would prefer a belt loop up here so it could hang down pretty well there's not one there's a loop here which looks like some maybe these are to go on your legs I'm not really sure what these are for so maybe if, if anybody knows what this is for maybe you can uh, leave a comment below and show me but other than the, the shoulder carry if it just had a belt loop here I would think it's a lot better okay well you know me um, I got a fair rod I gotta see if it works we'll try the striker that comes with it okay so we got some sparks let's try the knife itself uh, it actually does better than a striker so did pretty good on this we'll give it this one for pretty good okay well that was a little performance evaluation of the Shrade small kukri and um, chopping just doesn't have enough mass really to chop the handle it's, it's pretty small you can see I mean there's my thumb it's, it's, it's barely much bigger around than my thumb and it just doesn't doesn't fill your hand up very well when you're trying to chop it's moving around a lot doesn't have enough mass to really do a good job in my opinion so I give it a mediocre score on the chopping For batoning did a great job on batoning it's a big long blade uh, solid full tang no problems there as far as carving goes it's uh, it's not the greatest it's just it's just too long and unwieldy even if you try to it's, it's not really a choil here so I'm be kind of hesitant about that because if you slip up you're gonna wind up cutting your finger and the edge starts about right here but you could possibly lock your finger in there and try to get a little little more carving done it's just any long knives like this are usually not the greatest carver so as far as striking a ferro rod did great uh, better than the striker that came with it I give it high scores on that the sheath she's great except for shoulder carry I don't like that um, I need a, especially for a knife this small I really would like to see a belt loop on that on that sheath again if you um, if you know something I don't know about the sheath please leave a comment below and let me know one thing I will say it is balanced pretty close to the center of gravity there so <laughs> okay it, it throws pretty good not that I would ever recommend doing that. I mean, disclaimer, and Shrade wouldn't either. Okay, well, anyway, that's the uh, Shrade Small Kukri Full Tang Knife. I, um, not a bad knife, not knocking at all. I don't like the shoulder carry sheath. Your hand's a little smaller than mine. This might be a great choice for you. As always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving it a thumbs up below if you liked it. Uh, if you'd like to support this channel, you can check out the Amazon store below. If you're looking to buy something off of Amazon, I'd really appreciate it. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. See you next time.